Hey guys, welcome back to the Portsmouth Road to Glory. We have Tottenham in our first game of the episode. Away from home, we're going to the, I think they call it the Tottenham Stadium. Are they ever going to change the name? Are they waiting for a big sponsor to come in? Who knows? But the last time we played against Spurs, well, we won the FA Cup. And that was an incredible moment. And we're still living that moment because we're in the Europa League. It's, it's pretty remarkable. But let's see if somehow we can do it again. Who knows? At the moment in the league, we're not doing too bad. We're in 11th place, 10 points from eight games. Considering we're newly promoted, that's actually quite impressive. So I'm happy with our progress so far, but Spurs are in fifth place. They've only lost two games so far this season. Can we make that three? Let's find out. Harry Kane is captain for them and they've still got Lloris in goal. Have they got Deli Ali? I know they had Klosterman, didn't they? And they've got uh, who was at left back? Was it Grimaldo? I think it might have been Grimaldo. Let's have a look at their team in full. I wish I could show you the lineups, but then you get copyright strikes. They have got Grimaldo. They've got Ake in defence as well. Hoiberg and Winks, Lo Celso, Heumann Son and Harry Kane though. They are the main troublemakers. We're going to have to be careful with them. I'm still looking into the right back situation. Do we need to bring in a new right back? I know we were looking at Lamptey. There's many other targets we could look at as well. But for now, Minoga's starting in this one. Holding's done well there. Let's just clear the ball up. Oh, hang on. Almost fell for Hogg there, who I've decided to start ahead of Lingard in this game. Again, I just, I, I still don't really know who is the better option. I think in general, Lingard has had better performances. But you just never know with Hogg. He could pop up with... A special goal, and we're 1-0 down. <laughs> Lazari makes it 1-0 to Tottenham. Not the best start in this game, but it's a tough match. It really is. I still think the FA Cup final was a massive fluke. If you remember back, I really didn't play too well. I probably didn't deserve to even score, and we got the win. So, yeah. Who knows what's going to happen today, though? So far, not so good. The Lazari guy on the right side is actually proving to be... The most difficult player to defend against. But this time, we've got Human Son coming down the left. And that's somehow gone to Lazari. Why is he over here? I'm just being overloaded on this left side. Don't give away a penalty. Let him get outside the box like we have. Nice one holding. Now, let's see if Will Hughes can carry this out. He's been very good since we signed him. Try and pick out Wilkes. Oh, my God. Please. Yes, Wilkes. He's done a good job here. Inside to Hog. Go on. Go for the shot. Go on. A oh, little bit far out. That would have been a beautiful goal. There we go. Into Rogers. We're starting to make some moves now. Here's Hogg again. I'm going to get it into the box for Nelson. Go on. Oh, no. It's off the bar. Nelson's so close to getting the equaliser there. We've got the corner. Nelson's in a good position again. It's going to Nelson. Go on. Davies was right there in front of Lloris. Damn. Okay, five minutes to go. If we get another chance, who knows? We might get lucky. We've actually got it back again here. Nope, we've lost it. And now Harry Kane is forwards. Gives it to Lo Celso. What a tackle from Davies. I don't think we're going to have time to get on another break. Okay, well, we should be going into the break one all. I think that would be a fair result. But so far, Tottenham are on top. But we hit the bar. Put it in behind for Cummings. Haven't really been able to get him the ball much. Go on, on the inside. Oh, I don't know if he's going to get there. Oh, almost took Lazari out as well. It's been a, an interesting second half so far. In the first 10 minutes here, we've pretty much had the ball the whole time, but we haven't really been able to get in behind. I am actually thinking a 4-1-2-1-2 could work very well in this game. I'm just going to do it. Why not? Let's get Hunter on. Let's see if we can put together a really strong attacking formation for the final kind of, what, 30 minutes we've got left. I'm actually going to take Cummings out and I'm going to bring in Lingard and Hunter's going to come in for Wilkes, I think. And then instead of Hogg, I'm going to go with Chalaba and then do a little little bit of a rejig here again. I want Chalaba to be the DM, Hughes on the left, Nelson on the right. That's good. Do I change right back as well? Why not? Oh, I can't. Ran out of substitutions. Basically, with the 4-1-2-1-2, my wing backs aren't as defensive. They do get forward. And I think in that case, maybe Udabajo would be a better option for us than Minoga. Oh, we got it. 
Lingard with his first touch wins it back for us. Chalabert. Oh, come on. They've just brought on Ndombele as well. So they've made a midfield change. I don't really know if they're going to use him as an attacking option. It seems like they are. I think he's literally replaced Lo Celso, who was playing at Cam. So not really much of a difference. They're both central midfielders. Oh, no. Is he going to keep that in? No, he's not. I actually feel like I'm doing worse. Damn it. The change hasn't really worked. Can't get the ball out of my own half at the moment. Lingard, for some reason, is going out on this right side. Even though I've got him playing behind the striker, it doesn't make sense. It's, it's as if there's a little bug in the game. Sometimes when you use a formation, it just doesn't actually work. It, put, it puts players in the wrong positions. I, I cannot tell you why Lingard is over on the right side when he's playing as a cam. And now it's going to be 2-0 because Harry Kane's in. No! Colombi makes a massive save. What are you doing there, Jose? Imposter! What are you doing here? Well, he's still manager in my save, at least. He's going to manage Roma next season in real life. How incredible is that? Right, Hunter heads it out. I don't know why Will Hughes is the furthest forward. It's just weird, isn't it? Some of the, the positions that players take up doesn't make sense. Two minutes left. Come on. Please. Late drama FC. Come on. Hunter. Over the top. It's not going to work. Oh, my God. Please. No way. No. <laughs> <laughs> Tottenham Hotspur, more like Bottlem Hotspur. What just happened? I think it was Ake. He's let the ball go, go behind him. It's just bounced over the top of him. And Hunter's finished it. I thought this pass was bad. Oh, my. Oh, my God. We have rescued a point. <laughs> Tottenham must hate playing against us. Absolutely hate it. But it's their own fault. Why is Ake playing on the right side when he's left-footed? They've got Kunje, whatever his name is. He's right-footed. Swap them around? It might not have happened. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it would have still happened. Just terrible defending in the end there. And Kane should have made it 2-0. How, how have we come away with a draw here? Makes no sense. I think we're proving pretty hard to beat. You know, we are actually a very solid unit of a team. I mean, if you look at the lineup, the ratings... Does that look like a recently promoted side to you? I would argue that we are definitely strong enough to be a mid-table team. But of course, it only matters at the end of the season. Once you've played the 38 games, how you've done. Um, so far, so good in the Premier League. Not too bad. But now we are going up against FC Michelin in the... Oh, we've got an off from Taylor withdrawn in the uh, Europa League. So back to Europe we go. We are at home for this one. I've made a couple of changes. We've got Chong coming in. Chalaba starts. Fossey is going to start at right back as well. I quite enjoyed using him last time. I think what's letting him down at the moment is his shooting stat in terms of converting him to a midfielder. I think as soon as that shooting stat improves, it will happen a lot quicker. Um, otherwise, it's the same team. I might actually bring back Dyson into the team for this one. And what we're going to do is a quick sim. I think we can win this game. Let's see what happens. And we get a two-all draw. Oh, not really what I was expecting. But Lingard, again, performing well. He got himself a double. I think he should start the next game. I think it's as simple as that. Marseille won their game 2-0. So what does that mean? Let's have a look in the group stage here. Uh, where are we? Can't see it. There it is, Europa League. We are currently in second place, even though we just drew that game. That's Pretty good, actually. We haven't lost in Europe. Three played, one win, two draws. Not bad, you know. Up next, we have Aston Villa. And look at that. Lingard is the player to watch. Two goals in the previous game. They've got Grealish. They've got McGinn. We almost signed McGinn. I thought about it, didn't I? Looks like he's playing as the left central midfielder. So, shouldn't be too dangerous. I don't think he's going to get forward and score. But now that I've said that, he probably will. Let's get forward with Lingard here. Into Rogers with a good first touch. Oh, and McGinn's there. He is good, you know. It was it was between him and Will Hughes. Decides to go with Will Hughes, and I don't regret it. Because we've got it back here again. Oh, go on. Go on, Lingard. Oh, my God. Finish it. No! They just got there. Go on, Fossey. Nice. Thought I'd start him again today. Lingard into Rogers. Oh, the first touch was not very good. And now we could be under attack. Where's he going to put that? Nowhere. Because Davies is there. The man mountain. Up to Rogers. Go on the inside here. 
Oh, I think he's got around Bailey there. Bailey? 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 <laughs> Couldn't say his name. Here he goes. Finish it. No! Win the header. Damn, that would have been a really good solo effort. That's a really nice ball. Fossey out of position. Slide in. He's, he's recovered really well, though. And he's got away with that. <laughs> Was that a penalty? Probably. And look at this. We're on the break now. Rogers, this is your chance. Go on, Rogers. Do it. Finish it. Oh, it's beautiful. Rogers is no Nemecha. And you know what I'm talking about. Nemecha got to the Premier League with Sunderland and was unable to do anything. But this guy, Rogers seems to be different. He is playing just as well in the Premier League as he has done before. He's getting goals and hopefully winning us games. That is a cracking finish. 1-0 to the good. I guess what I should have been saying was Nemecha's no Rogers. Rogers is a better striker than Nemecha ever was, in my opinion. And we picked him up for, what, 1.7 million, was it? What a bargain from Lincoln. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Future England star. Here's Lingard. Current England star. Give that back to Rogers. Oh, we got lucky with the rebound there. He's having a really good game. Here's Cummings. Go on. No, that's... Oh, I'll take the free kick. Wait, is it a pen? Is it a penalty? It's a yellow card for Bailly there. But I think it's outside the box. Yeah, it is. It's not going to be a penalty. But we do have a free kick with Rogers. Can we bang this into the top left corner? Go on. Go on. Oh, it was so close. Steer had to steer it away. <laughs> Five minutes to go here. I've got to say, Aston Villa have been very disappointing. I don't think Grealish has done anything. Very strange. And he's playing at Cam. He's not playing on the left. So you would argue he's probably in a better position, in FIFA at least, to get involved and potentially get goals and assists. Maybe not. Maybe wingers are, bet are better. I, I couldn't tell you, really. I think it's quite even. Oh, Lingard's giving it away. I think that's going to be it. Is left wing, right wing better than Cam? I don't know. Out of all the career modes I've done, I feel like I get more goals centrally than I do from wingers. M maybe not, though. You guys let me know in the comments down below. Which position do you think is better in FIFA to score goals and get assists? Wingers or Cam's? But either way, Grealish is playing at Cam, and I think that's his best position in FIFA for sure. I know in real life he ends up cutting in from the left wing. But that was a very long injury time. But it is 1-0. We're looking good in this game against Aston Villa. We should be winning this. Ooh, Fossey. Oh, no. What the hell was that? Oh, my God. Aston Villa score very early on in the second half. And that's Morata. What is Morata doing at Aston Villa? How mad is that? It's a good goal. I think, unfortunately, Fossey slightly out of position again. But what a cross. I don't think you can blame anyone there. Colombi's just stood still. You're never getting to that. Okay, well, it's now one all. Unfairly so. We've been on top. Try and get a tackle in. Nice. Right, can we play this out? Well played. Wilkes is making a good run. Try and pick him out with Will Hughes. It's not the best pass, but we've still been able to keep this in, I think. There we go. Now what? On the inside? Oh, hang on. Lingard's made a run. Give it back to Wilkes. No. Another chance gone. I'm going to lose this, aren't I? I can feel it. I'm actually going to lose this game. There it is. There it is. Jack Grealish. I shouldn't have said he's done nothing. Because, of course, then as soon as we kick off the second half, he's all over me. <laughs> it's just as simple as that, really. I, I just jinx it. It's a really nice ball. I thought I'd get there with Davies. Not quite. And it's just another one of those goals where the cross comes in really hit hard with a lot of power. And I just can't deal with it. Okay, I guess I should make some changes now. I'm going to take Cummings off for Curtis. I'm also going to bring Hunter on. And I'm going to play Hunter at Cam. He can play that role. Although, actually, I'm going to put Hogg in for Hughes. Dangerous free kick here for Aston Villa. Who's going to be taking it? Oh, no. Jump the wall. Ah, he's going to pass it. He's going to pass it. Yes, Fossey. On the inside here. In for Hunter. Chip him. Yes! He scored! <laughs> Hunter is the super sub. He is so good at coming off the bench. And I feel kind of bad about it. Maybe he should be starting. Maybe I should try and get him in the team with Rodgers. 
and maybe play like a 4 triple 2 or a 4 4 2 what a finish that is man that's that's really quite impressive i almost considered getting a new backup striker because hunter i don't know he scores when he comes off the bench but whenever i start him it wasn't really working out but now nah, I've, I've got to give him another go he's so good into injury time here they just took off grealish so clearly they're happy with the draw but i want more and that rhymes play it inside oh my god no hog he's been awful since he came on the problem is he's just not physical enough he's not strong enough i think lingard skips past that challenge i really do but a two will draw another draw it's ridiculous we're drawing so many games we're going into the efl cup so again, I'm going to change the goalkeeper. Robinson and Davies are going to play. Davies captain? Why not? Holt on the left, Minogue on the right. Hughes and Nelson in midfield with Lingard at Cam. Hunter starts. It's his turn. He has to. With Chong on the right and Curtis on the left. And we are playing against Wolves. So it's going to be a tough one. I don't really know how to explain why Wolves are doing so badly in real life with the team they've got. But in FIFA... There is no excuse because they just will play well. They're good players. They've made some cracking signings as well. Golovin's in there. Ceballos. Okay. Danny Ings up front. In fact, I'm interested now. What is their full team? Let's have a look. So they've got Lozano on the right. Neto on the left. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's a very, very strong team with five at the back as well. Not really a fan of playing against five at the back. But, oh, God, I've just stepped forward there. It is what it is. We can only beat who's in front of us. And, you know, if we get knocked out, we've done okay in the EFL Cup. You know, we've we've done very well. Oh, Nelson. Not sure that was a foul, actually. It was it was a strong challenge, but he got the ball. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to keep it and get forward. And now here come Wolves. That's going to go out, right? Nope. Neto's kept it in. Trying to block, block the pass. Nice, Robinson. Okay, let's get forward here. Try and get Chong in behind. Nice. I feel kind of bad that Gale doesn't get into the team because of Chong, but... I mean, it's good to have healthy competition. Look at him go. Look at him go. Into the box now for Hunter. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that was close. Here we go with Lingard. Good run. Into Nelson. Can he finish it? Left foot. Nope. He can't. I was ready to celebrate. I thought that was it. But he's just put too much on it. It goes... I mean, that's very wide. That is not a good finish from him. If only it was Hunter that was going in the back of the net. Ings is seeing a lot of the ball up front. But he kind of drifts out wide. And that's fantastic for me. He is most dangerous in and around the box. So if, if Ings wants to stay out wide, that's fine by me. Good tackle. Come on, we've got five minutes left here. Let's get forward. Lingard on the ball. Come on, Hunter. Make a run. Don't just stand there. Unfortunately, that's not going to work. Okay, now Chong, maybe. Go. No. Nope. What a rubbish, rubbish run from Hunter there. If he just got on his bike straight away, knock it over the top, and we're in. Okay, we got it back, though. Chip it. Nice. Win the header. Nice. Go on, Lingard. No. Again. Close, but not close enough. And I think that's going to be the end of the first half. We should be winning. Again, we're, we're playing very well. I'm, I'm surprised, genuinely, at how we're able to compete against some of these really good sides. But my players are good. There we go. Curtis, finally, on this left side, able to run at the defence. Into Hunter. Back to Curtis. Well defended. That was very well defended in the end. Oh, <laughs> that was not a safe pass to make, though. We almost won that and got straight back in. But here we go. We will get straight back in now. Up to Hunter. Little one-two with Lingard. Again, it just hasn't quite worked out. I'm going to make a change. And I'm actually going to try out the 4 triple two. Why not? It does mean that Lingard's going to come off. And Wilkes will come on. And I'm also going to take Chong off and bring in Rogers. Also, Chalibur's going to come on for Hughes, who was on a yellow card. Actually, before I forget, I should change these guys to left wing. And right wing. So they're kind of on the wing, but a bit more inside. It's basically a 4-4-2 really, isn't it? Just a bit more narrow. So let's see how this goes. It might not work, but it's worth a try. Let's go, Curtis. Nice. Still going here. On the inside is Wilkes. Into Rogers. Oh my god, he's only just come on and that's his first touch. 
Rogers with his first touch. Unbelievable. What a strike. Easy finish, really. The build-up play from Curtis was really nice. The ball comes in. Little pass through from Wilkes. And there it is, past the keeper. Great composure. 1-0. And the changes I've made have made an instant impact. Here is Lozano racing through. Plays it backwards. What are you thinking? Why? It's so stupid. It really is. I've just given it away, though. The one thing I don't like about this formation is there's just a massive gap between my central midfielders and my strikers. There's no attacking midfielder that can just drop deep, pick up the ball and get forward, you know? Oh, my God. They've just given it straight to me now. Let's go. Push forward, Rogers. Go, go, go. If we make it 2-0, it's game over. Oh, my. Yeah. That's the pass I wanted, you stupid game. Luckily, we're 1-0 up, and I wasn't relying on that to win the game. All I need to do is hold on for the, the whole minute... I think we're going to be okay if they play it backwards here. Oh, we've won it. We've won it anyway. Honestly, that pass, I was literally aiming straight up the pitch and it goes over to the left wing. Cool. We've won the game though, guys. We are going through again into the next stage. We clearly do like a good old domestic cup. Spurs have made it through against Hull City. Liverpool have gone through. Millwall went through. Manchester United went through. We beat Wolves. Oh, Chelsea just about getting through against Brighton there. Leicester have beaten Preston and Man City were knocked out by Sheffield United on penalties. Wow. Okay. Well, again, like I just said, we clearly do like to play in these domestic cup competitions and we're doing well again. Whether or not we're going to win it, that remains to be seen. But as we end the episode here, guys, towards the end of October, we are currently 11th place in the league with 12 points. Let's have a look at the record. As we finish today with six draws from 10 games. Two losses and two wins. It really isn't that bad, you know. To only have lost twice. That's the same as Spurs, Newcastle, Arsenal. It's really quite impressive, actually. I'm really happy. I really am. Fulham are still yet to win a game. That's not very good for them. But yeah, we're going to end it here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back tomorrow night. Um, and don't forget tonight, it's the big one for Arsenal against Villarreal. Second leg, we have to win to get through to the, the final of the Europa League. So make sure you check out the watch long. I'll be live as soon as you finish watching this video, if you're watching it as it comes out. If you don't know the timings of it, it's 8 o'clock kickoff UK time and I'll be live for that over on my Facebook and on my Twitch. So thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.